This is Jill Mama in Coach Lamar's Kitchen, and we're going to show you how to make the not so famous or infamous chocolate chip cookies. I'm sorry to tell you, but the secret recipe is on the back of this package, Nestle Toll House. That's all it is. The real secret is in how you put it all together. So watch and learn how to make soft, chewy chocolate chip cookies. Of course, first you're gonna have your hand scrub, whether there's a pandemic or not. And you're gonna have your oven preheated to 350 degrees, get that started first. And then prepare your cookie sheet, a nice heavy cookie sheet. I really don't like the Pampered Chef stones because they don't put a nice texture on the bottom of the cookie. And make sure it's sprayed or rubbed with butter. Then you have two sticks of soft butter in your mixing bowl, or this could be, um, a, yes, what do you call it? Crisco, butter flavor Crisco, if you'd rather have that. And you're gonna mix up the brown sugar, three-fourths cup, and the white sugar, three-fourths cup. And you're gonna whip this till it's super fluffy, really fluffy. Can you show them in here? still need to put in a couple more things and beat some more. We're going to put in some really nice Tijuana Mexican pure vanilla, one teaspoon. And we're going to put in a teaspoon, no, right now we're going to put in our eggs, two fresh eggs. And then we're going to beat some more. Okay, now we're gonna put in the salt, but not the baking soda, very important. Do not put in the baking soda yet. Okay, that's pretty fluffy. Now, 
And your Nestle Toll House recipe does not tell you to do it this way. But now I believe you should put in the soda and the flour and do not use your mixer anymore. Now I'm gonna give it over to Coach Lamar because now we gotta stir with some mussels. I'll take the camera. Coach, stir that flour and soda in there. Don't splash flour out of the bowl. This is the most important part of the job because it's done by me and it's done completely and thoroughly so there's no flour. You can't even tell there's any flour in it. It's got to all disappear. That's not going to be on my counter? There's just a little bit on the counter once in a while. Okay, when you think you have that all mixed in, you can pour in the two cups of chocolate chips and keep muscle in it. It's not mixed in yet. Let's see how you're doing. Okay, you might want to use the child cheater, scrape the sides, scrape your spoon. Is that this thing? That's what that is, yep. Get it all off the sides and get it all mixed in there. Okay, you're doing all right. You can go ahead and put these in. Keep muscling it. Two cups of chocolate chips. Semi-sweet, of course. They don't ask for that many chocolate chips in here, do they? Mm-hmm. The recipe says two cups. Because it always feels like... I've had some chocolate chip cookies where there's one chocolate chip in the cookie. And Joe Mama's cookies always has lots of chocolate chips in them. Well, some people might try to save money and scrimp a little. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's good enough. Remember when we used to always do a double batch? Oh, yeah, those were heavy. In the big um, fix and mix Tupperware bowl, to, we used to always do double batches. Back when I was younger. Back when you could eat like six of them in milk. Oh, that was so good. Now I get one hot one and you give me a hard time about it. I think that's good. All right. You well, tell let's me. Let's trade. I'm going to show them how to put them on the cookie sheet. Oh yeah, you did good. All right, we're gonna take this scooper, just spray it a little. And again, the magic in the cookies is not the ingredients; it's the it's the order that you mix it together. And then the other thing is how long you bake them. So we're gonna put twelve of them in the oven, and then we'll come back and hopefully be able to splice this video together. My oven is um, 350 degrees for about 11 minutes, but elevation, ovens, cookie sheets, all are variables that could change that for you. So you have to watch. But the way I got to 11 minutes was to see that they're barely brown on the edges. They still look raw in the middle when I take them out and then you leave them on the cookie sheet to finish baking and cooling. All but one. No, we don't eat the raw dough. Okay, that's it. We'll try to come back when they come out of the oven. All right, let's take a look at these. I know you guys are gonna think these are not done yet, but that's how they should look. And then you leave them there to cool. Do not take them off and put them on a cooling rack. They're finishing baking on the cookie sheet, so they're just the right texture. So we will package these up into small containers and put them on the porch swing, and you can come by tomorrow, first come, first serve, and have a treat of chocolate chip cookies from Coach Lamar's house.